I conjure you, Camila, to come here. Hmm. All right, good enough. Please distract all the haters as we go deeper into the moon mystery. Oh my god. Very likely we have to recap everything all the time to show how scary it is to even forget a, a titsy bitsy vibe. Just the feeling alone can be forgotten. Every one of these episodes will come with their graphical map or a matrix. But first we have to take down the, this one. Your brain can make a, a blackout where you forget everything. And hopefully Moon does not do that. Because that would be pretty scary. I'll just black out the blackout and move on. For some reason, wolves like to howl at the moon. How dare they gaslight me into thinking that moon is good to look at. A lot of people make the moon scary and paint faces on the moon. And I'm like, shit, that's not good. And maybe Moon actually remembers that. Whatever you project onto it, it's gonna have that forever. Maybe it's shaping itself constantly. Based on what's the scariest thing it can do. But at the same time, what's the most attractive and mysterious thing? Let's delete the whole fucking Moon then. Because we might need a new one. Yes, the 100% moon is probably the strongest kind of moon. And there's also something called mood, or Monday, and all that crap. Moon's supposed to give a boost of something, but you're not supposed to look at the moon. That's the idea behind the series and the warning that people need to learn. But only after we get to the very end will we understand what's exactly going on. After we collect enough clues. Because everything eventually gets solved. Moon seemingly is a female energy. Because it's very passive. Male energy is to project things, to work very hard, to be physically hot and enlighten the world. While, you know, Moon seemingly does nothing and uh, it's boring. Thank you, females, for looking that way. But it's spiritually active. There's something going on. We can't just, like, let go of the Moon and pretend that the Earth is round when we just don't know. I'm not going to project you my beliefs about Flat Earth. I'm just saying you're not supposed to know things. You know, you're not supposed to pretend, you're not supposed to have extraordinary ego without zero evidence to back yourself up. Most people just go and mob around. And they only feel powerful because there's a mob guiding them to the next thing. But sometimes you have to detach from the mob and do what's actually right and good and obviously you know, important for your well-being. You might lose friends when you follow the mob, and mob is not going to be your friends. It's just going to be an artificial blob of people. So we're already building things back up again. Because the misconception of why you shouldn't care about the moon... The moon is almost here, right? It's, it's halfway there in the mob. But it's lost in the bee. For some reason. How cool is that? We haven't touched the mermaids. So the mermaids just gonna shine brighter, bro. Until we look in their, into their contents. Alright. Why was this show created? Why is it just female driven? Why did everything revolves around the fucking full moon phase being like the most scariest thing ever? And why Moon gives them superpowers. There's a lot of weird fucking questions about them mermaids. Same goes with Moon Phases. We have no idea what Moon Phases do and how they differ from each other. 
we can have a good feeling about it. And that's usually pretty good, but not enough to actually know. Just having feelings is not enough to know what the moon actually is. People want to talk to the moon for some reason. So we have to ask ourselves why. You want to talk? What is that about? All right. So potentially moon can receive messages. Somehow. And maybe uh, wolves are also howling to the moon because they're sending messages too. Right, there's the missing wolf somewhere. I don't know how to draw wolves, so I have to copy and paste now. I'm just saying, guys, Moon is mysterious as hell. And really unpredictable. But it still has to play some kind of role, right? It can't just be a satellite. That would be stupid and overly scientific. Which, uh, you know, doesn't impress me. Science does not impress me because it's just one half of the equation, usually. Like, yes, you can come up with all these fucking mathematical equations to find a prime number, but prime number is meaningless. But moon, as a body, as a giant body the size of the sun, and not any, way, any other way around, the size of the sun... For everyone is meaningless we can't even go there anymore it's pointless that is crazy to me there's no way unless you don't believe in God and meaning so I don't know then that's that's fair but why would you do that why would you just scrap away possibilities Right, you don't do that. Even as a scientist, you don't scrap away possibilities. You have to test everything that is mysterious. Even scientists sometimes look for ghosts and see how it all is, is going to work out. But because they don't have feelings, they don't have enough feelings. If they don't see anything, then there's no ghosts. But that's the whole point. The ghost is not something you can see. So it's weird, right? So in that sense, moon cannot just be this important and then sun is this important for everyone. Sometimes you just want to go to sleep forever and not wake up. And you don't like the sun to come back sometimes. Sometimes you hate the sun coming back. But moon never bothers you and never really comes back. It's very random. So it's a whole different relationship with the moon. Also, Monday as a message is very important because it's the first day of the week, the Monday. Why does it not end with the moon? It not the day like starting from the sun and then it goes to the moon, to the nighttime. That's how the day works, right? But no, it starts with mon moon day, bro. So we have another clue. Moon is the start of something. And technically, it just reinforces the idea that it's female, right? Just reinforces this idea. To the fullest. Now it's triangulated to the point where we know for sure it's female. It's the start of everything. The creation. So can we use moon to create something? Great relationships, bonds, the future? Is this the crystal ball that we always wanted to have, but we never found it within ourselves to look at it that way? That's crazy, right? What the hell? So let's put that shit in then. Is it a crystal ball? There's two branching paths, though. You can look into the moon, or you can't. And it's better to start with you can't look into the moon. Even though it's a lot easier to look into the moon and let the bullshit happen, right? Sacrifice a human being and whatever happens to that human being, that's, that's fine. The problem is, 
once you sacrifice that human being, you might not be able to trust them. Just like blindness from the sun, how do you detect blindness? It's not that easy. You can still fool a lot of people that you're not blind, that you're seeing things, right? Or you can fool people that you are, in fact, blind when you're not. There's so many false positives going on that it's impossible to trust the moon anymore. You can't stare at the moon because you simply don't trust it. Because the sun did bad things to us, so we should not just go and trust the moon because it could potentially do the same thing. That's the whole plot twist, isn't it? And it fucking baffles me because this is not a story. This is me trying to figure out what the fuck is going on in reality right now. What the fuck is the moon thing? And what it does to people. Can we find something, some material to look at? So we have this rebranding going on. And then there's this as a thumbnail for some reason. Also very mysterious. What the fuck? Right? Because it plays into this narrative. And she does have the moon song. I only told the moon. Guess who else cares about the moon so much? Ariana, bro. Moonlight. It's water people, and they, they seemingly have magical powers because they do, in fact, look at the moon a lot. So they're definitely in on this, you know? They're definitely different from the rest. They know something we don't, or they're just blind. They're fucking blind, they're brain damaged, potentially, who knows, right? Because what I say is that sun damages your eyes, the moon is gonna damage what what you see, is, is the way it goes, right? So, sun will physically damage you, and moon will mentally damage you. So, potentially, those water people are created by the moon by the ability to damage your brain, to not lean towards your brain anymore, just destroy it. That is a pretty big-ass fucking clue, isn't it? Of why water people are so attracted to it, to the moon. Deliberate brain damage. That's crazy, right? What? But then you think about it, and it's like, but that's what full moon does to people. It makes people go crazy. So this is why you don't want to look at the moon. You don't want to stare at the moon. You don't want to praise the moon for other people. And you want to be very serious about it. So if people are actually staring at the moon and pretending that it's the new drug for them, you have to cut them off from your life. It's a way to get rid of a lot of people that you don't like and give a very good, simple reason. To me, it's mind-blowing that this journey even exists, that we're having this weird experience. But it doesn't stop there, my friends. Ariana and Camila share something in common with another water person. They all deleted Instagrams this year. This year, they... They, um, last year, actually. Well, in the, in the span of, like, six months? Ten months. Well, let's say twelve months. In the last twelve months, Ariana deletes her Instagram, Laura deletes her Instagram, and now Camila rebrands herself, deletes her Instagram. It's now a trendy thing for them, and not many other people. Technically, Sabrina deleted her Instagram as well. And I recognize her as a witch name, you know. But it didn't felt like rebranding. It just like felt like she was cleaning shit up. But would have to double check. The day that Camila chose is also pretty significant. But let's visit both of them. IGs are all three. Sabrina rebranding at which dates? Also, 200 posts. Now she's sexy, Sabrina. Wow. 
So it doesn't feel like a serious rebranding, right? It's more of a cleanup or a fresh start to whatever she wants to do professionally. And she left a very old post, 216. What is the oldest? Still 221. 2021. It feels like she haven't actually deleted her Instagram, just cleaned it up. That's it. Which is weird. Because it's completely different with these water people. By the way, I thought I had power, but I don't have power. I click and it comes back. So everything just glitched out over and over again. Unbelievable, bro. I thought I was able to just moderate comment section. Nah, bro. Fuck that shit. So I'm not sure uh, what I will have to do, but let's just continue. I believe Laura chose the date. Alright, she actually switched everything. So now I have to see if uh, she still has the video. Now she picked a different date, you know? It's fucking weird. Okay. This one, right? The May 28th was the actual first post. And now they can toy with you, basically. Fucking annoying. Okay, August 16th is completely meaningless. Great. That's the way I like it. I don't like when the, the universe fucking glitches. But at least that post is still there. Alright, never mind. It's always very unstable. But she has deleted like a thousand posts. And it was the first thing. Why May 28 is so special? Mm hmm? Because that was the day when Ariana deleted her post. And I was uploading a video about Ariana at the same time. She fucking constantly finds the moon and posts about it. Ridiculous. Like, why would you care, right? Why is it so special? March 20. Also, a meaningless. Unless you predicted the future. Okay, that was close. That's wallpaper, bro. Now I'm just doomed to check every single one of these things. Because they can glitch really badly. Alright. We're safe. These very old posts that get left over, like, from uh, five years ago, this one. They seem to be pretty safe to look at, bro. And not blow my mind when I match things. Because, like, how else do you send messages across the fucking universe? Because you are a celebrity, you can't actually, like, do anything crazy, right? Like, message me directly. You would have to send messages across these weird coincidences that... Only I care about. And this was a pretty strong message. You know, it might not have glitched really hard. But it was a very strong message sent, basically. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm a, a normal I'm like everyone else. It's just a lot of people like me. Wow. And so we go back full circle to Camila. And her day is March 6th. That's right after my birthday, by the way. There's a big gap. Like, she could have chose many more days. But it's March 6th, basically. And my birthday is March 5th. 
And it made me think of like, well, it doesn't match, right? But it's not match, it's march is going forwards. One day belongs to someone else. The next day belongs to someone else. So she kind of like marches forward with my birthday and sets up a flag in the day after which is like super cool because you can extend your birthday that way of like i will celebrate you so it's kind of weird thing bro so that's the sentiment again it is what it is i'm not claiming anything i'm just reading the signs you know that's the whole point that's the the way you interact with the moon you read the signs what what everything means right it helps you understand the world potentially who knows and it helps you send messages to people because it feels like i've received something so i started getting addicted to it and you're like i can't stop now i want to know more i want to receive more perhaps it's also one of those things where you can set up rules of the moon and if you both agree on something you have to follow the rules or the moon will punish you somehow. It's kind of weird, bro. The moon is always watching, bro. Yeah, it's like privacy. If you make a mistake, if you fail the contract, and you become immoral or something, you break rules, then uh, all this privacy is going to leak to the rest of the world. Because the moon is not only watching but can communicate with everyone who cares right it's a big thing of like it's a, if the moon is acting like a fucking smiley face that can just do things that's pretty crazy bro right now moon is definitely surprised and sometimes has the smiley face if you don't focus on these three dots it's definitely a vibe. I would say it's true. You see the social thing, the water, oh, emotion. You see a little bit of a smile, which would now indicate one four. And then you see all these like burn marks that are supposed to do random things. All these burn marks, they're completely random. You're not supposed to pay attention to that. But it's just like gaslighting. So you at least see this much. Moon almost like indicating the time of human existence itself. Like the greatest clock of all time, boys. You can even see like there's some weirder uh, burn marks in the middle. They're different from the rest of these like weird spots. There's like actual burn marks. In almost every photo it shows as if like what what is so dark about this area, right? We have faces and Moon likes to have a face too. That's crazy, bro. Camila just got 12,000 points. Let's go. Or reach. So imagine if Moon has face and potentially has a reaction when you look at the Moon. Potentially the Moon's face slowly changes. You have the power by staring at the Moon to change the Moon. But that comes in a cost of sanity, bro. That's the idea. People have sacrificed the stare at the moon. Sacrificed themselves. Or their entire population by saying that we went to the moon, guys. Hey, look at the moon, guys. Right now. Look at it. All right? Just, we, uh, the entire humanity is now fooled to look at the moon. And if you don't care how you feel, if you don't have any spiritual connection, you're not going to be creeped out by staring at the moon. Or you're just not going to make an impact either. You're going to feel a reason to look away and you'll do it just like with the sun.
it will hurt you and you will look away. You know. Like, yeah, if you... You would be forced to draw a smiley face and a shocked face, shocked expression, at the same time. You have to combine these two things together, how you would draw it. Because putting the smile on the side is kind of like genius, right? Having this ball over here and the smile on the side, like, all right, crazy. But there's still burn marks. That means something. So people wanted to project a nose clearly. And then there's three dots here and the middle thing here for some reason. And these things make no sense. All right. This shit around one eye makes no sense. The nose makes sense. But it looks so weird, isn't it? There's definitely a different expression when you use these eyes and these eyes. It's different, but the moon looks kind of fucking dumb. It's still cool, I guess. You can also see the smirk emoji using the smile. And uh, her name is Smile, so I guess that's cool. I chose that because it would sound similar in Lithuanian if I translated her name, so it would sound Camille, so just without A. I wouldn't be surprised if narcissism would be represented by number three, because I do it that way, but it still makes no sense what are these three things. But I guess I, that's the whole point. <laughs> like there's seemingly a pattern, but not really. There's seemingly useful, not really. And the same way the nose is not actually useful, it would kind of piss you off. Of like, what? why the moon needs nose to? To really create a face? Like, crazy, right? But somehow, our population, perhaps, if that's how it works, decided that it needs those two things. Also, by the way, it makes absolutely no sense. This is the backside of the moon. This is why people believe in Flat Earth of, like, then why the moon looks so fucking damaged, basically, on this side. This one is still a projection. We don't know what's going on on the backside of the moon. But it looks so fucking stupid. On our side. It's not like we attacked the moon, haven't we? Oh, there's there's more shit. Look at that. Explorations. Sure. Or out of projections. Of what people cared about. All right, cool, cool. We'll we'll figure out as much as possible about this subject. It is completely natural for human beings to ask 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 things of this holy object, right? And throughout history, it probably was used for that. It's almost like unholy and godly. You can talk to the moon, bro. Maybe you can ask for things. God knows where we're gonna fucking end up, bro. Funny enough, there's one more aspect to the moon. So when you look at the sun, there's two emotions that's gonna happen. It will make you smile because it's cringe, right? It's stare at the moon, sun like, ah! And it will make you cry, technically. That's something that TikTok projected. I don't know. It's hard to tell because I didn't fucking stare at the sun for too long, bro. Make you cry. Especially if you fucking go blind. Definitely cry something. So the moon should have the other emotions of making you angry somehow. And it definitely does make me angry for being too mysterious. And making you shocked of like, oh my god, it's full moon. And it truly does that. 
right? It does those two things. What the fuck? Potentially, it doesn't make you cry. Make you makes you sad. That when sun does not exist, the opposite. And when you can't find the moon, you get angry because you're like, oh, where is it? Come on, man. Where the fuck is the moon? How long will I have to wait, bro? Oh my god. A whole two weeks? For full moon? I think what's going on is... There's some people who try to make moon ugly, but they also still project... Uh, a face. So there's this very, very scared face of like, Oh my god, no! And then there's this dumb face, this question mark face. That is so interesting. Because these are two fire emotions. To be dumbfounded, I'm like, what? What's going on? And then be like shocked but scared at the same time. Oh no, no! Yeah, because uh, fire people really love their question marks in two different ways. But they get overwhelmed by the question mark. So let me show you the clock of the humanity, bro. By copying and pasting Moon and showing all those four phases. Or faces. Alright, boys. They get progressively smaller, technically. Alright. There's that one, the main one. Whoa! Oh my god. And technically it's more like this. Funny enough. And there's this one. So either that, or that, or that. Whichever way you like. But the nose technically belongs to this guy. And then, finally, there is this crazy face that's really scared, but also has like this tiny thing going on. You can switch potentially to this one. Maybe happier. And it's such a weird thing because it definitely expresses itself. Because, like, what? That's not where the face should be. Shouldn't be just like one quarter of the entire thing, right? And potentially, this is actually fading away at the same time. It's going to be replaced with another smiley thing. You know, but I'm not sure where it's going to appear. That's the funny thing, isn't it? It's actually going to soon supposed to happen if this is correct. We can actually expect this to change to something else, somewhere else. And that's fucking insane, bro. Seeing the actual change. Or maybe it already changed, but the Google Photos are fucking old, you know? That would be even in more insane. It is weird, right? You can set up rules, you can use the moon to manipulate people because it's such a holy object. If you project meaning to the moon, even I myself, I can do it through this video. And I must not do that. If I'm a moral human being, I'm not here to manipulate you. To turn you into a mermaid? Hmm? Well, maybe women don't deserve to be treated nicely, and I will turn them into mermaids. If you stare at the moon, and if you're a woman, beware, bro. <laughs> Bad things will happen if you obviously finish the series first. I'm not gonna do it a second episode, am I? Moon is millions of years older than previously thought. Oh my god. I can't believe it. It means absolutely nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing, right? Like, whatever science says sometimes just means nothing. 
did you know that uh, if you go to digits four, six, and seven of uh, fucking pi, you get this, this number of sequence or whatever. Like, like I don't give a fuck, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what science is. Eighty percent of the time, if not more, and it's probably getting worse. While popping, but that aside, it's clear that the popcorn button has nothing on good old-fashioned ears. There's my popcorn button does have ears, actually. Oh my god. Technically, Moon kind of feels like, you know, what I'm creating here. Anything that can be created, it's a projection of things that you choose. And humanity can also project and choose something, of course. There has to be a canvas of some kind in the world. There's one thing that works similar as moon and the sun. It's the eyes. Do you want to look at the enemy's eyes? Kind of. But you don't want to look at put into potential enemy's eyes because you don't want to anger anyone. Do you want to look at the potential lover's eyes? Yes. But you don't want to look into lover's eyes? Like an active one? Because that would be the opposite, right? Of enemy. You want to look at the enemy just to know your enemy as best as you can. But you don't want to waste love, right? From the lover. And it's like, it's kind of offensive looking at like inspecting you just want to be close and hang out and all that shit whenever but looking to, into their eyes it should be a special occasion i guess it's a weird equation but it works very similar to sun and moon potentially it makes you more attracted to these things do you want to be attracted more to your enemy? No. Unless there are actually active enemy, then you want to be attracted so it fucking ends. In a way, the active enemy, I would imagine, would be active fireplace that you have to look into just to take care of it and appreciate and make sure it doesn't fucking bite you. Right? But the sun is never the enemy. It's far away from you. You don't have to stare at it. But does that mean the equation tells us you have to stare at the moon, though? Because it's potential lover and all that shit. You have to find the moon and stare at it. Now that fucking shakes the metagame of what we're looking for. Once we turn these things into eyes and personalities. Alright. Shit. I'm gonna leave that up. This whole shebang. This is how you come to conclusions, my friends. One step at a time. We're gonna get close enough to the truth. To take advantage of it. And that's it. I'm thinking you can sort of extend the smile a little bit. For another personality. Or another water type. This generic one. I just learned that salt as a crystal is a dehumidifier. You can put salt bowls and help yourself reduce humidity levels that way but once it saturates with water it cannot absorb water anymore which is weird i mean i have closed space and salt is a crystal so it's kind of funny spiritual weird thing that i needed so i put it very small amount of salt and it's probably not, not going to make a difference. But I do feel I need a dehumidifier for real. Oh, 
of souls. Long hair. Most important, solar eclipse. Let's start with salt. Now, the idea of salt is that it's somewhat of a spice. And if I have it around, very next to me, potentially I will want to taste it sometimes. We'll see, you know. I will discover significance of salt, and you can only do this through experimentation. You're not going to learn that by listening to other people. The salt's the power to absorb. Because they're going to fucking... They're gonna gaslight you of like, oh, they're the clean energy and all that shit. Like, fuck off. Energies, leaving behind energy that is fresh and pure. Salt has the power to absorb harmful forces and unpleasant. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So important to say that. Yes. This is what happens when spiritual fucking shit melts your brain. That, that's what's left. Salt. An expense. Guess what else he's talking about? Bible. Yeah. That's spiritual, too. Everything spiritual now is just buried alive. Like, it makes no sense anymore. Even though it's really important for your logical stability. Cost. Cost. This is another thing that I haven't explored. I haven't explored horror, and I haven't explored this spiritual side of YouTube. But it's probably a pretty interesting uh, new place mm, to enter. Who knows how long I will stay here? Salt is at least it's like trying to be um, positive, I guess. So because when someone mentions Bible, I might want to check some Markiplier thumbnails because uh, we don't have enough Bibles printed, unfortunately. I guess let's put this in the background, normal speed. I need. Car this is why it is fantastic to add to food, but they're even better sometimes for spiritual uses. Shut up. It's really nice also Himalayan salt for clearing the air. Kind of like it for that. You don't really see, sal see sea salt a lot in like that. Guys, I, I see sea, 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 sea salt. Well, I'm not impressed. Let's just move on. Fucking... Periods, bro. Let's go. I only trust one man to say stuff about that. Because spiritually, you. Man, I don't want to fucking listen to 30 minute shitty video, bro. Yet, it's the most popular one. I don't know, bro. It's kind of. There's no significance, clearly. Alright. Why don't why don't they don't talk about uh, horror and fear and all those really crazy topics that need spiritual significance? Because that shit you have to avoid. You have to know how to do that. My only question is, how are they gonna be the simple explanation of like, I don't care about my hair? As the whole point, if I spend too much time worrying about hair. I don't have time for other things. Speedrunning life is very important. How do you beat that? Just a, f a couple of sentences. You need 10 minutes to explain hair? Of course you do. Of course you need 10 minutes. You have to make a full video. But it's cringe. Let's see if I get impressed. Purpose of our hair so that you can become... A robot that's being tracked by the camera? What the fuck is going on? This is four years ago. The person that... <laughs> it feels like that. I don't think it's the case. He's just holding the camera, right? But talks like a fucking... So I'm so far, I'm not impressed. I'm going the opposite way of being impressed. Of like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Sometimes he says something weird and too spiritual, but then he kind of normalizes that. Electromagnetism and increase our overall energy. Like, oh... You get more electromagnetism. That means more energy, actually. Oh, wow. Man, this is so stupid. When spirituality becomes illogical and just kind of like wishy-washy fucking nonsense. It's hard, bro. I don't, I don't want spiritual significance of anything anymore. To be. 
even if our mother doesn't like it so much. Yeah, too bad your mother doesn't like your hair, bro. Tear. <laughs> That's a womp womp moment, but I, I want to, like, learn about the moon ASAP, but I still need to warm up to whatever the fuck I can possibly see. His, his smile is gonna fucking uh, melt my eyes. He will say, shave the head and now follow orders. So with the loss of hair, people begin to not think so much for themselves. Yeah, but why, right? You lose a big portion of your personality. The way you are perceived as a human being is very, very different. You assimilated, basically, by losing hair. You look more like everyone else. That's why. It's not some magical thing that happens because you lose hair. It's the way you are perceived by other human beings, the way you perceive yourself. And the environment you, you're in, it's a ritualistic thing to assimilate you. Like, <laughs> but you can wishy-washy about it and not actually explain it. Experience of our everyday lives. So, let's remember hair. How could I forget hair? I mean, it's very difficult to remember. And control from within. Be conscious of the power of your hair. Holy shit, man. That's a meme right there. Power of your hair. Activate, bro. <laughs> Let's go to war at this point. Fuck yeah, bro. I'm inspired. I have the power of hair. Learn more about our reality. He shows how well he can read, you know? <laughs> Fucking insanity, bro. I'm not impressed at all, but it's fucking perplexing to fucking meet these people. It's crazy. Give me the moon, all right? We're not gonna get any information, is what I'm saying, basically. You want information about moon? You came to the right place. We're just starting to actually uncover that moon potentially has something of come on guruji bro really or sad guru that's the one we're gonna fucking listen to you have taken over the moon we'll have to defeat the moon lord all right let's see the power level of moon lord actually this one let's go at absolute first of all what the fuck are you talking about? Why are you outside in the snow? Who fucking makes videos like that? Who's happy at winter time, bro? Outside. I don't understand, bro. I'm already not trusting this guy. You know, I already, like, want a beer to spawn somewhere and chase him away from making fucking YouTube videos. Absolutely no. Polar bear, let's go, bro. Idea. Because we're gonna come. You have no fucking idea what happens next. Forth, I was realizing that I was fearing of putting myself out there on YouTube. I was fearing of taking myself out of my comfort zone. Yeah, for a fucking good reason, bro. Where are you right now? Holy shit. The, the efforts required. What the fuck? Comfort zone. You know, like this isn't a Fortnite channel. This is. <laughs> Holy shit. I am entertained, bro. I am not impressed. But I am entertained right now. <laughs> Let's go play Fortnite. I'm talking to myself. And then the 528 hertz frequency will get you to be able to... Yeah, I mean, the moment you say a stupid number like that, you, we already lost spiritual connection, unfortunately. <laughs> that fucking sucks. Well, to physically, you That's the only thing you have to do right now. The only... I mean, it is spiritual travel to visit these people and be like, okay, tell me your thing. I'm not gonna fucking be impressed, but like, at least we're gonna have a laugh and like, move on. Because I don't like you. <laughs> I don't trust you, but you might have a fucking titsy bitsy salt of information. One, one grain of salt of information, maybe. Ultimate glory. And I will have to collect that as currency, it seems. Maybe, like, through the speech patterns, you know, like, whatever they say, however they act in different environments, it adds up to something else, right? We'll see. 
this blockage was coming up and then I knew that I was going to be receiving many many downloads I was going <laughs> fucking he says downloads by the way it's crazy going to start to receive a lot of information it's what you receive information you click video you receive information it's a lot of downloads I'm sure you know YouTube is not very happy that you might not uh, pay for a subscription well like come on bro then just put on notification for the cycles of the moon man we're so disconnected spiritually and logically like he's floating in space right now hey well i put notifications on the moon like the moon not moon has changed hey guys you need to know about that bro it's weird like you can you can have some kind of thing on your phone that shows the moon phase but like come on man not that deep you haven't convinced me of anything what you're doing or no matter how you're feeling everything gets amplified oh yeah the the booster effect okay sure no matter what you're doing though right so energetically but like it's weird for me it's more of like a clarity effect of like Giddy people are going to be attracted to the moon. You can kick them into the moon. You can make them, force them to look at the moon. And you're cleaning yourself off by doing so. You can promote the moon to other people. It's more of a social experience. I don't know. It's the first vibe I have. But, yeah. All right, at least he said something, you know, like, understandable, coherent. This project. So really start considering removing any kind of negativity around the full moon. I basically eliminated all, totally all the... Still haven't really explained why, but like, sure. If you combine it with boosting negativity and it boosts negativity and your mood gets boosted because it's a mood, right? Then I, I understand. And again, moon is associated with darkness and, you know, scary things. And full moon is associated with that, which is a lot of tentacles surrounding the moon. That's probably not necessary. But so many people are attracted to horror just because, you know, it's exciting for them. And uh, it's just garbage. It's exciting to survive another day, to be honest. The greatest horror is wake up and be like, oh shit, I have to live another day and I have to do all these things all over again. Now that's fucking horror right there. And then the horror becomes standing up to authorities who you don't like anymore and you want to improve your life quality. Now that's horror that I can understand. The, the, the green screen. I want to make... Oh, you know what a green screen is. Oh my god, it would have been so much better than catching cold, am I right? No worry that. I'm like half cold. Not by watching this, but by literally just April, bro. April fucking kicks my ass while I'm in indoors. And this guy's just like, ah. You know. This guy really fucking gonna lecture about cut it. Cutting negativity while sitting there making me feel like shit. Anyways, it's a real man, bro. Focus more on what you are able to control. Start focusing on the things that you are able to change. He can definitely change that one thing. Man, it pisses me off, bro. Why are they doing this to me? Eight hours to get that video out on YouTube, but it was worth it. Absolutely, bro. Just, uh, there might be uh, aftermath consequences, like health issues. Your spiritual. Like, if you don't understand that spiritually, snow is death, then, <laughs> then you know nothing about spiritual world at all. Because you're becoming... People had to run from snow because it was just as deadly as a flood or other natural disasters they would run away from cold climate it's impossible to survive for a reason in this situation true potentially this is why we have leaves cold leaves they leave it's too cold gotta fucking get out of here from my 
Anyways, I don't have much time left after ranting against this dude. Please, sad guru, like, please don't be stupid. But he, he's like in a normal environment, calm, sits down, can fucking relax and all that shit. Seems way more normal. Oh, wait, that's not true because he's surrounded by people and... It's uh, somewhat of a social experience at the same time. Satellite. Finding calm and relaxing places is not easy, bro. Holy shit. That's the spiritual journey that you have to do, is finding calmness. And I don't have it, my friends. I also have problems in my life, and I cannot deliver full spiritual awakening to people, but I can at least talk about it. And I can be fully aware, because you have to be aware about real things that you can do to improve your life or to imp improve your message and all that shit. Right now, it's pretty calm. But overall, I don't feel calm. And I don't feel, you know, well-treated. I, I get free YouTube videos, but they don't treat me, you know. Just because I listen to a person, they would, they might like me more. But we can't make a connection just yet. Significance. Why these full moons and no moons are hell significant? When I listen to this dude, I'm like fucking stunned of like, that's how a normal person speaks, finally! No. That's the power of spirituality, of like, you calm down, you have clarity, you can deliver a proper message. People want to listen to you because they get into the same state of mind. It's awesome, bro. Uh, say yourself. You just be with me. Don't worry about the camera. Yeah, there's uh, social problems going on. He has to calm people down and like deal with laughter and all that shit. It is very disturbing. And it's not the most spiritual place. But it is what it is. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can make it through. <laughs> More blessings. By the way, again, India is a place I haven't fully explored. And T Series actually declared a war against Mr. Beast. More on that at Mr. Beast 10,000s. Holy shit, I should have made this video by now. All right. See you guys in the next video then. Soon enough. I will still listen. It just ends. It is very dangerous, bro. And he starts with this, you know, human aspect. But saying the same thing that it enhances whoever you are in your mental state and your mood. Which is like, okay, we're not gonna get very far, though. You're also, we don't know why. Yeah, India is a weird place because... You can feel the burning of your entire being simply because you're surrounded by so many people. It's crazy. Enough that. Just like in Russia, you're surrounded by savages. So that shit burns you in a different way. To be Just after saying that, like, again, we're exploring different aspects of spirituality that has nothing to do with the moon. Traveling to the moon is very difficult. Unfortunately, I can barely like listen because there's other aspects that I have to cover in my mind. Otherwise, I have nothing else to say, right? I'm just waiting. Well, I can't do that. We have to grab whatever is valuable. So this will take a while, but let me just tell me tell you my significance of the moon. Because besides this speculative information there's one thing that's very significant people don't like anything else but the full moon the perfection of the moon that's the whole thing that's when oh my god happens oh oh look it's a per full moon is the only thing that's interesting to people that's the only picture you want to see you know you barely see this. And it looks kind of ugly. Of like, well, I can't see the whole thing. Right? That's the significance. And I don't know what that means.
to be honest. It just feels very meaningful. That wholesomeness, right? The idea of wholesomeness is within the moon. See you guys next time.